you want to go to space and visit the International Space Station. First, you have to book your ride there and home. But did you know, like any other travel, there's actually a lot more cost than would first appear? NASA just announced their new private astronaut mission rates for the International Space Station, and we're going to take it just a couple minutes and break them down for you so you can plan your next trip. So we know that a seat on Crew Dragon costs roughly $55 million U.S. million, thanks to a press release from Axiom Space telling us how much they paid for their missions coming up later this year or early next year. That gets you to the station and back. But there's a lot of other costs that have to take into account other than just your flight. Well, NASA just updated their private astronaut mission rates, and they may be more than you think. In 2019, NASA released their initial pricing for private astronauts, but based on the skyrocketing demand for marketing and commercial activities, NASA realized the 2019 data did not reflect the full value of resources NASA is putting into these missions. So they've now updated it, and it's broken into two different sections one for commercial activities, and one for private astronauts. So let's get started with just the commercial activities, which generally would be private research companies and things like that. Your cost will start at 130000 per hour on station. A company is only allowed to be on station for 25 hours per calendar year, and currently NASA will be only setting aside 90 hours a year for these types of crews. This pricing seems to be based on the cost of the entire crew for the commercial activity. When we get into private astronauts a little bit later, it's going to be on a per person per day rate. Now, not only do you have to pay for your time aboard, there's the cost of your cargo. To send passive cargo up to the station, it's going to cost you $20,000 per kilogram, with NASA setting a maximum allowed per year at 50 kilograms, or one single cargo transfer bag equivalent. Now, what goes up must come down, so there's $20,000 per kilogram charge for trash disposal, and if you want to bring something back to Earth, that's going to cost you 40000 per kilogram. Again, with a limit, but this time of only 35 kilograms. NASA has set a maximum that they will be able to provide each year, and if every business takes the maximum they're allowed, you're only looking at about three to four of these missions being able to occur. Now, what about if you need special cargo? Well, of course, there's options for that. Cargo that needs to be conditioned, that's going to cost you 90000 per kilogram round trip. And if you need power cargo, that's 120000 per kilogram. Those are more of a special order, so NASA will have to approve them on a case-by-case -case basis based on the ISS's resource availability. Now, what about us? What if we wanted to go visit the International Space Station to take pictures, film a vlog, uh, things like that? Well, they have the prices for that, too. Before we get into those, take a quick second and comment below how much would you be willing to stay at the International Space Station for 72 hours, three days? Do not include the cost of your rocket, just the cost of like your hotel and your food. Well, to start, it's going to cost you $4.8 million for the International Space Station's basic services. This will cover your entire mission, uh, and this is going to help cover the cost of mission planning, the execution, comms, the tracking network, NASA's equipment to support your visiting vehicle, and more. Then you need to add $5.2 million for your ISS crew time. This is based on the cost of the support of your time visiting the station for things like operation, logistics support, and other services. NASA is nice enough not to charge you for the ISS baseline capabilities, which includes access to the ISS power grid, laptop, tablet, a downlink, which provides you 12 gigabytes maximum per day for videos, pictures, and emails. Now, what about food, lodging, and stuff like that? Well, food's going to cost you $2,000 per person per day. Up in mass disposal is not included, so we'll get into that in a moment. It'll also be between forty dollars and $1,500 per person per day for your crew provisions, meaning your clothing, your hygiene, your products, office supplies, and things like that. But again, shipping's not included. The shipping costs for everything to get you up and down will range from $88,000 to $164,000 per person per day. This is to make sure there's enough of everything early on station for when you arrive, enough for everybody on station, and for uh, contingencies. It also takes care of all your trash. Now, if you want to bring other stuff up and down with you, like your own research, well, that's going to cost you similar to the commercial visit, but we're not going to take that into account. We're going with the basic stay. So for a three-day visit to the International Space Station, you need to make sure you're budgeting at least $10.5 million US dollars on top of the cost of your rocket to get there. With that said, it doesn't sound like I'm going to the International Space Station anytime soon, but as the years progress, we're going to see a lot of these costs start to come down, maybe not on the ISS. But as SLS, New Glenn, the Vulcan Centaur, and especially Starship are getting into operation, the ISS Research Facility 
won't be the only station. Soon there will be many commercial space stations in orbit, and those costs will probably be a lot lower because they're going to be designed for commercial. The ISS is a research facility. So yeah, let me know in the comments how much you would be willing to spend on a mission to low Earth orbit space stations now that you have a rough idea, but what would your max budget be? How many days would you want to go minimum? Would you want to go yourself, or who would you want to bring with you? Make sure to follow us over on Twitter at, at TLPN. Subscribe on YouTube, plug in on our Discord to connect with me directly, and consider supporting the channel by becoming a TLP member over on Patreon. Get some exclusive perks and discounts there. This is Zach with the Launchpad, signing off.